Namaste guys, in this video we are going to do make this thing. So let's start. So press A, X and delete. Click on add, mesh, add a plane. Now what I will do and uh, I will go to the geometry nodes. Click on new, zoom in and first I will add a subdivision surface. So what I will do, uh, subdivision, subdivision, subdivide mesh. How much uh, let's say three higher the mesh better will be the quality of your results okay now click on add and I will add a let's say sphere scale it down GZ <clears throat> now it's like this and drag and drop the sphere click on relative why relative suppose if I try to move this uh, the result will be updated dynamically. If I use original, the result will not update. Now, what I want right now is geometry proximity. So I will try proximity and I will cut geometry proximity. Shift A and use uh, name attribute. Attribute name attribute. Okay. So. Store name attribute. Sorry, I have to use store name attribute. Store name attribute. So geometry from here, and what I'm taking from this is the distance, and where I want to store the, enter the basically the name of the variable. Let's say sim because it's simulation type. Let's make it small better. Click on this and sim. Okay, and. I also need a material as well so click on here new let's name it M material material so press shift A as and type set material and select the material from here this one so if I go to the render mode uh, this is something how it looks like right now let's go this one now what I will do uh, I will select this thing, uh, this surface, and go to shading. Press Shift A, uh, attribute. Uh, remember the attribute name that we have typed? It's sim. Press Shift A, type color uh, color color ramp. Drag this to here and here. So if I move this, you can see the color is changing. When the ball is near, its color is changing. Now what I will do, I will select this thing and let's change it to the red. Plus add, add, make it red as well. Make this one green. and make this one yellow so you can observe that if I take the ball near it becomes red and you can see that the surface quality is not good so what I can do select this go to the geometry nodes increase the level of mesh for better quality now look what will happen so if I go to the shadings like this press G notice now the mesh quality is better before that there are some lines or cone shapes is there now suppose you want to say hey I don't I want to reduce the circle shape so you know uh, just place them close to each other it will reduce it you can observe how it's changing when I move this forward backward so you can add more color as per your requirements it's up to you for example if I go here and plus add and at the end here I will add a blue color and here I will add a green color so in that way you can make your custom animation as per your requirement you can see how good and smooth is looking so I hope you guys learned something from this video if you have any kind of doubts and queries feel free to ask thanks for watching and have a great day namaste